Your girl is a Taurus sun. Focus on your peace, moving forward. If it shows up half-baked, half-cooked, half-made, half-ready, release it. Period. Stop forcing shit that's no one. Ain't gonna hold nobody. Ain't gonna fake shit, ain't gonna hold shit, ain't gonna make shit up. I love what I do. Cause I'm tap the fuck in. I'ma read this motherfucking course yeah. left, right, up, down, sideways, sideways. Tap the fuck in. You hear me? Yeah, I read Mirror it. two. Tap the fuck Backwards in. In reverse. Yeah. I'ma read these bitches. Hello, Aries. Welcome. Let's get into your messages. This will be for Aries. Any placement. Flip and switch the energy. Take what resonates only from the multiple scenarios that will come out in this collective Aries reading. Anything you need to know about me will be down below or in my bio to save you from being scammed. The link to book a reading and my actual social media platforms. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all are well. Let's see what's the tea. If this reading does not resonate, it's simply not your story. For Aries, any placement. I am an Aries, Moon, Mercury, and Venus. For Aries, what we got? What does Aries need to know? Angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. What's the tea? We have toxicity. <laughs> oh, Lord. Capricorn energy. Feeling bound or stuck or someone trying to keep you bound or stuck. Addictions, patterns, energy, vampire, and trauma bonds. Some of you could be in a situation where you're codependent. You need someone or they need you. This could also be someone trying to drain your energy on purpose. Always calling, venting, letting it all out. You're the one that they want to talk to. Some of you could be dealing with someone that is dealing with someone toxic. But we will clarify for Aries what we got what does Aries need to know we ain't doing the bugs for Aries what's the tea we got alchemy truth <laughs> external party and watching evil eye energy here with the devil and the watching guarded Capricorn energy again all right so There could be a need to be patient for something to work itself out for you, Aries. You or someone you're dealing with has external interference in their life. It says work, other people, obligations, friends, family, or a karmic partner. That could be that toxic, toxic energy of having a hold on someone. Alchemy, someone could be doing spell work to try to block or stop someone from moving forward, trying to be possessive over them and hold on to them. Rebirth, their life is changing. Scorpio energy with winter rebirth major changes and transformation for others of you this could be someone projecting over your life of your livelihood and everything that you got going on for yourself with watching an external party but let's clarify four wands cut the deck on aries energy this could be a marriage a home a community some kind of organization some kind of group interesting some of you you're in a new city you don't feel accustomed to someone invested in you just to pull back abruptly or they're moving too fast or you're investing in someone things are moving too fast let's see i want to see what this is this external party could have came to someone as a woman checked you as a man external party expression and truth Sagittarius energy here. What's toxicity for Aries? What's the tea? Toxicity is not a cup. Someone's emotionally manipulative. They say just the right things to keep you stuck. Gaslighting with toxicity. Someone's projecting in someone's dreams, playing on someone's emotions. Someone knows that you're your heartfelt. You're very compassionate. You're very giving, but they they play on that. Mm. Not the cubs. This could be someone. Now this is gonna be very very specific. Let's say someone's wealthy. They're whining and dining you. They're spending money on you. Or this is you, but they do not have good intent. It's like someone could buy you the world, but internally they are very corrupt. Or this is what's happening to someone closely connected to you. Interesting. It's like chivalry with toxicity. Or someone's manipulating your person. They're being very seductive, seducing them, playing on their emotions. Let's see. Watching for Aries. Some of you could be popular. Someone could be watching you online. The Nine of Swords. This is projection. Someone's projecting over you, giving you headaches. This is negative energy. 
or some of you are worried about how you're seen or this is someone closely connected to you what will people think of them you see this person here holding their hair there's a demonic energy the devil is also on the table either this is someone sending evil eye it says envy right there evil eye negative energy projecting over your mind aries or your livelihood or your whole goddamn life like your ass your love your finance family whatever it is friends and all of that is here work other people obligation family and friends or someone's worried about how they would be seen like they're stressed someone feels guilty for how you see them or what you found out truth and expression or this is how you feel someone sees something online they saw something and it's really stressing them out let's say some of you, you moved on the person who played on you manipulated you they were too shy to move on you you move full you chose a different direction you're celebrating somewhere else or it was a third party and you got to the point where you were done with it or you wanted more they could be seeing you move forward or move on or this is you for some of you and they're stressing and they feel guilty they feel like they fucked it up okay again there could be a group of people watching you propel in life catapulting to your your dreams your endeavors and they're projecting over you aries or you're doing this multiple scenarios let's see someone can't sleep sorry i'm outside someone can't sleep with some of you there's a lot of stress they have anxiety i don't know what kind of bird that was oh lord external party for aries external party falling over watching sun mm, i'm gonna need another one for that because that's happiness now, some of you, you have to put your own successes first, successes first, but you could definitely be prioritizing something else. Other people in your life, maybe even children. Yes, obligation, son. So a lot of you have obstacles in the way of your success, but it's an obligation. For some of you, someone popped up saying that they were pregnant, an external party, while you were working towards something. Some of you, someone's trying to hold on to you or someone you're closely connected to because of their successes or ride your coattail to their success. Like you uplift them. This is life force as well. You giving to them, you propelling them into their success. Inner child healing. Some of you, this family, you got family things you need to heal. Interesting. What's truth? Seven of Pentacles. Bad investments, two of swords, stagnancy. Stalemate. You poured into something and it did not pan out. Taurus energy. Leo here with the sun. Gemini with the nine of swords. Some of you, some of you could be wondering, like, when are things going to come into fruition? When are they going to invest as you are? New perspective, seeing the truth, clear action, honesty, and communication. Do you want this or not? Some of you, you express what you were working towards. You see this hungry ghost here? Some of you express what you were working towards. Now someone's watching your investments, watching, because they want part of your success. They want to see how things pan out. Could be a karmic partner, a lover here for some of you. Family could be karmic, friends could be karmic. Someone's watching you and what you're working towards, Aries. Or this is you doing this to someone else. Hmm. Some of you could be dealing with another Aries. Now, if this is someone watching over you, watching your life, watching your successes, this could be someone trying to create some kind of stagnancy in your life. This is this success horse. Horse of Yang action. White horse is the same horse right here waiting for this person to become a knight of swords to take action. But they're standing here in this crossroad, don't know what to do. Some of you, someone could have blocked you. Someone could be trying to block your blessings. Some of you, there's blocked communication between you and someone. Or y'all communication suck between the two of you. Or they had to block somebody else out of their life in order to propel things with you. Something could have stopped abruptly. Perhaps they want to reinvest or pick it back up for some of you. Libra energy with the two of swords underneath that. The page of wands. Someone wants to start over. They could be trying to text you, but you block them. Or someone asks you to block someone from your past. Or you ask this of someone. Let's see. Page of wands. New perspective, new ideas, exploring. Some of you, there's some kind of delayed travel plans because you got something else to sort through. Some of you are on the spotlight, six of wands, or someone else you're dealing with. Someone's watching you, though, Aries, a lot. Now, when I say watching you, some of you, this could be as symbolic as like monitoring spirits. Like they don't have access to you directly, but the same way that I'm doing tarot cards, that someone could do scrying or pendulum asking questions about you, keeping up on you, keeping tabs in spirituality. There are many ways to watch someone or keep tabs on them. I got a lot of people watching me right now and do these readings. I'm in a park, but I guess this would be like 
Salem witch trials. Like, oh, that's, that's she's doing tarot. She's a witch and all of this. So there's a lot of people watching me right now. <laughs> but my ancestors chose me. Okay, alchemy. But let's see. Alchemy, ancestors, for Aries. Uh, Ace of Swords. So you could be a generational curse breaker, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Energy could be in your birth chart as well. Some of you could be cross watching for your um for, for your birth chart. I'm hearing also like myself. I'm an Aries, Moon, Mercury, and Venus. So okay, alchemy with the Ace of Swords. Some of you are here to change something, to do something in your bloodline. I really feel that heavy. Now for others of you. Someone's waiting on you to communicate with them in order to heal this. Like, they're waiting on some kind of wiggle room. Like, they want to see where you stand. What are you willing to tolerate? <laughs> what are you willing to tolerate in y'all's connection? What are you willing to go for? Because they could be trying to move fast, very fast, with this white horse again. More action. So, someone's waiting on some kind of clarity on where you stand, what you're willing to tolerate, what you're willing to accept, what do you want out of the connection. Some of you have to break free through all obstacles, oppositions, any type of stagnancy, anyone holding you back, anyone trying to block you, anyone trying to confuse you, anyone telling you to wait on them to pick you, choose you. You're going to have to do what's best for you. It's part of your healing to push through whatever this is that you feel that's holding you back internally, got you guarded, got you feeling vulnerable, got you feeling unsafe, un maybe even unselected. They're not choosing you. They're not picking you. I want another. For some of you, you're just in sex-only situations with someone, but you want clarity. Where do you stand? Where is this going? Some of you, this could be a job. Start your own business. Looks like you're in charge, though, Aries. What's alchemy for Aries? I smell weed. The Knight of Pentacles? <laughs> I smell weed. And here's the Ace of Cups. Some of you are waiting on a solid offer. Some of you, it's time for you to take action towards your goals this is slow and steady though now all of that white horse energy we got a black horse we seen white horse all day even on the night of cubs white horse is action we do we're dealing with the yin and yang but this is aligning your actions with your intentions the black horse is all internal first it's an idea it's creation it's yin it's a it's a set plan like what are you thinking what do you want for yourself and and that and that clarifies a slow and steady energy now for some of you you're waiting on someone to make a decision about you or you're taking your time making one and you may have to make it for yourself and take action for your for, for your own endeavors because this could be holding you back, waiting on someone to pick you or waiting on someone to promote you, whatever this is, Aries. Well, a lot of you, you have to get back on track if you, if you fell off because I got rebirth right under here. Some of you are afraid to take risks. You feel like options are limited. Let's get another for the four of pentacles for Aries. Justice, accountability, cause and effect. Some of you, someone's married, they need a divorce. Aquarius energy here with the star, Libra with the justice. Some of you, you're waiting on some kind of payout here with karma. Like, let's say someone's been attacking you. You could feel like someone's out to get you. You could feel alone in a situation. Something could have been holding you back. It's getting ready to be made right. Justice to anything that's blocked you, held on to you, was possessive in your energy. If there's been money held up, it's getting ready to be released. Justice, some kind of payout. Someone was married and that person refused to sign. Someone had a choice to make between you and another that regarded towards you. This is doing what's right, taking accountability for a lot of you. Blocked heart chakra security at all costs. Let me get another for this. Some of you need legal aid, like welfare, food stamps. Two of Pentacles, financial troubles, nine of wands, wounded warrior. Now, this is very, very specific. Some of you need to go down to the A office and apply for some kind of assistance. There's been some kind of struggle for you financially. Mm -hmm. Four of Pentacles, security at all costs. Yep, 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 yep. Some of you, there's something coming in to bring balance to some kind of instability. And it could be some kind of grant, loan, charity, organization, nonprofit organization pouring into you here. Now, for some of you, someone was juggling you. They were going back and forth between you and another, a decision that they need to make. If it wasn't another person, it was you or their life. Like their their word, their family, their friends. Like they had to prioritize you. Of course, their life comes before you. It should. But this is a matter of whether or not they wanted you in their life. Time management. Like could they, could they also have time for you and the things that they want to work towards? This is someone taking accountability. They want to work on it. They're not done fighting. Could be dealing with a fire sign or a twin flame. For some of you with this, I call the fire signs of uh, Queen of Wands, King of Wands, Twin Flames. 
they could be ready to take action but there's definitely hostilities from a third party behind the scenes or this person has internal conflict so recap there's a lot going on here pursuing your goals someone watching you you pushing forward taking action aligning your actions with your intentions if someone's coming at you half step half ass half baked half ready release that like the intro say um and let them let them step towards you correctly and you stay focused on your goals now again stand your ground if there's any kind of spiritual warfare or call on your guys to aid you because you're not aware you don't know what to do blah 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 yada yada yay now for others of you someone's taking accountability they're gonna have to do that you can't sit and wait in indian style praying and hoping to wish for them to take action you got to keep moving forward regardless to whatever someone else is bringing to the table because what does not serve you only only holds you back and blocks your blessings peace